Okay, so this is going to be a video on pivot tables, and um, the goal here is going to be to create a statistical tool that helps us summarize and reorganize um, a big chunk of data. So I'm going to uh, open up the body table body data table that is there. Uh, you see it's on the screen. It's linked in the notes, um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to make a copy of that because that way you uh, you know I'm not messing it up for everybody else. And we're going to use this to make a, a, or see if there's a relationship between um, people's weight and their um, systolic blood pressure, right? So the the high number in your blood pressure count, right? So um, <clears throat> this is a perfect job for a pivot table. So what we're going to do is we're going to click up here in the upper left hand corner and we're going to make a big selection and then we're going to say insert and one of the objects down here says pivot table. So I go ahead and I hit pivot table and it says all right there's the data do I want a new sheet I said create it and it made a pivot table in the new sheet and you'll notice there's like a whole big control thing going on over here. All right so that's our first step is to create the pivot table in the new sheet. Now I want to have the rows be the people's weights. So I'm going to go over here to rows and I'm going to click add and I go down to weight and now you can see it made all the weights are down there in the rows. Like there's all the weights. Right. Notice that this pivot table is on a different tab. The original data is on the first tab, the pivot table is on the second. Right. So put the weights in the rows and, uh, and then what I want to do is I want to put the systolic numbers, the high number of the blood pressure as columns. So I'm going to add to the columns and I'm going to go and grab systolic. Oops. Oh, there it is. Yep. And I put all of the systolic numbers, like if I kind of slide this over, keeps going way across. Okay, cool. So that's there. All right. <clears throat> now, I don't have any values in my data table, right? So I have to be a little bit clever about this. And um, so I'm going to go and say I want to add values. And I want the systolic to be the thing that drives the values. I'm going to have systolic be the values. And I don't want the sum of the systolic values. I want to have the count. I want to know how many people have these things. So I want to change that to count. So like I have one person who has a weight of 39 pounds, or probably 39 kilos, 39 pounds would be really tiny, or it might be a child. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, let's see, what does it go down to here? Uh, is this kilos or pounds? Uh, 150, that's probably kilos, because we should get some pretty bigger people at some point. So it's probably 39 kilos with systolic rate of systolic measure of 92. There's like one person in that category. So the problem right now is like all of my people are all scattered around the table here. Lots of white space. That's what I don't like about this table. All right, so I can group some folks up here. So the, what I'm going to do here is I want to group the weights. So I'm going to like right click um, on one of the weights. So like we right click here and say, create a pivot table group. Um, okay, so we right click, hit create a pivot table group. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some numbers in here. So I saw that like um, my me minimum number was around 39. So uh, let's make the minimum number for our group 20. Right, and the maximum number was somewhere around 150, so we're gonna make the maximum number here like 160, and maybe we'll group, group them within groups of 20 kilos. Okay, so ah, that makes my table much more manageable, right? So I got like a 20 to 40 group, a 40 to 60 group, a 60 to 80 group, so forth and so on. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with the rows, or the columns rather. So when I have the columns here, I have, uh, I'm running from like 88 to 186. So let me right click in one of these, right? Make a pivot table group. And since I started at 88, let's go down to like 
maybe make the lowest possible value 80 make the highest possible value since it went up to 186 let's have it go to 200 and also group these into groups of 20. okay so there we go we just got like a really reasonable two-way table here right uh i got like this little like add-on here at the end i'm gonna like right click on that h and i'm just gonna hide that column and i got another one of these kind of hanging on over here so i'm gonna like hide that row and this should give you your ever familiar like two-way table right uh the systolic numbers going across the top the group weights going down and like this is awesome Right, so I can see very clearly kind of how this data stacks up, where it's distributed, and it gives me a much easier picture than like those two columns in this original table that we had, right? So we were able to take this, shrink it down, get something that's a lot more usable. And you know, you can get back to like those conditional probabilities and stuff like that we did in unit one. So there you go.